Good morning. Today we read in Matthew chapter 16, and we hear Jesus ask Peter this question. Who do you say that I am? So I want to pause and ask you, who do you say that Jesus is? Your answer to that question changes everything. Do you, like some, think that he's a prophet or a great teacher in history? Or do you, like Peter, recognize that Jesus is the Messiah? the Son of the Living God. Right before this question, Jesus warns his disciples of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees who denied who he was. Now I, alongside the rest of America, have been baking a lot during this quarantine and I've gotten to see different leavening agents at work. And I've noticed that while they all work a little bit differently, they all do the same thing in the end. They all change the very nature of the dough. And your answer to this question changes the very nature of who you are. Now we know, because we can read all throughout scripture, that Peter had a lot of ups and downs as a disciple. But it is after he answered this question by saying, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God, that Jesus tells him that Peter would be the rock upon which he would build his church. The answer to this question changes everything. And now we are the church and Jesus is building his kingdom through us. And man, that makes me so happy and so excited to be a part of it. But then I keep reading in Matthew 16 and I read as Jesus tells his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem. He must suffer. He must be killed. And suddenly I am so sad. And then I read on a little bit further and I hear that Jesus tells his disciples that whoever wants to be his disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow him. And suddenly my heart is heavy. I must deny myself, take up my cross and follow him into suffering, into death. But then I remember the end of verse 21 when Jesus says, yes, he must suffer and he must be killed. But then on the third day, he will be raised to life. So while yes, we are meant to deny ourselves, our sinful, prideful, selfish, hateful, flesh-driven selves, instead of being that old self, we get to be completely changed by Jesus. Denying ourselves should not cause us sorrow, but rather joy, because now our nature is changed and we can be filled with love and joy and peace and understanding and selflessness. And that is good news. And while yes, we like Peter will have our ups and downs as disciples, God is still building his kingdom through us. Because when we pause and we recognize that Jesus is the Messiah, the son of the living God, when we yield 
when we deny ourselves, Jesus will be like leaven that changes our very nature and makes us more like him. And that, my friends, is very good news. Have a really great day.